Ahoy mates and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here for a video about the one subject everyone always wants to know about, which is basically one. Beginning like this. I first started off with the idea of making one video about this subject, uh, then as I started shooting it became something like 20 minutes of me ranting and uh, seriously man, who, who, who likes that? So I eventually decided to split it up in three different videos, each covering a specific uh, subject within the uh, larger concept of beginner hurdy birdies. Now this first video will be about a few basic concepts and uh, uh, my story and a few other things I want to point out before shooting the other ones. Second video will be about uh, well, music, of course, uh, <laughs> that's quite obvious and will be the theme behind uh, all my videos. And the third video will be about uh, all the different options uh, you can have when starting in the Gertie world, so which bias to choose, why, etc. etc. So but we'll deal with that later. Now before I start saying anything else, uh, I want to say one thing, why I'm in this video. But well, first of all, many or most of, uh, of the comments or private messages I receive on YouTube and elsewhere are where do I get one? Like, meaning one early early, of course. Now, the musical instrument market has changed over the years. Um, today, music shops are kind of widespread around basically all the Western world, to say the least. And uh, especially in the last five or ten years, the, the market has been um, strongly monopolized by Thoman, which is a German shop. Um, well, I'm quite confident that seriously every one of you knows about Thoman. It's uh, it has become kind of the I don't know the golden standard, if you wish, for buying musical instruments. I, I, I say all this because the point I want to make is that we live in a world where buying something is has become incredibly easy, and uh, for many people, not being able to buy hurdy gurdy just you know on eBay or Thoman becomes something puzzling in a way and also frustrating. Okay, small, small side uh, note, there are hurdy gurdies on Thoman, but we'll deal with that later, okay? Everyone wants to know where to buy a hurdy gurdy and uh, especially everyone wants to know where to buy a beginner instrument because if you don't play it already, you just want to try it out and make sure you actually like it learn and then maybe move on and evolve to something else. This has become, I, I'd say, common practice in the world, in, in the whole music world. And uh, because you can, today you can buy cheap guitars, cheap violins, almost cheap everything, like junk. Uh, but it gets you started, especially when you're young. Like, of course, things change. If you are a music student and you intend to make music your career, you will probably invest quite a lot of money in your instrument. But what if you're an amateur like most of us out here? Uh, what if you just like an instrument and want to play for the sake of it, for the fun of it? And that is why where do we find beginner hurdy gurdies it has become like the most asked question online at least in the in the, in the hurdy gurdy world. To this question, most of the people usually um, reply they aren't. Like there are no beginner hurdy gurdies. You just buy the top ones or you just, I don't know, play the kazoo. <laughs> so uh, that has become a widespread answer to this question, which has been even more frustrating for so many users. And uh, I think there are arguments daily on this very subject, like where do you find them, are these cheap, these are too cheap, you shouldn't find them, etc, etc. So I seriously believe there is a need for 
this video and tops more video like this one. Now, before I even go on, I want to address one thing that has been annoying me, like overwhelmingly uh, in the past few months, which is to summarize the the catchphrase you are as good as your instrument now, I don't even know where to begin with this one like the short answer is no and the long answer is uh, can, I, can I say swear words on YouTube? to put it simply, no you're not as good as your instrument now, now first of all I want to say one thing now first of all I hate the idea of assessing a person by anyone by what he or she owns physically. Now this is this is terrible per se. I mean just assessing anyone by census, by the money they have or the money they spend or the money they're willing to spend on anything is by all means a terrible idea and it sucks and it's bad and it's so ancien regime what it makes me want to puke seriously. I don't want to evaluate people according to things they own, not even if it is a musical instrument. So first of all, this, this is just bad, yeah, but, but by all means. Secondly, someone could argue, well, it's not about evaluating the person, it's about evaluating the music produced by the person, which is like an object, an item, something not personal, so you can do that. Well, I, this is so very simple, but let's say this. I, I can play the guitar. So I imagine you um, have me and um, Steve Vedi. Okay, it's the, it's the first name that comes to my mind. Whatever. You put me, me, you put me and Steve Vedi inside the same room. Okay, each with their own guitars, and mine isn't particularly good, as you might imagine. Uh, and then we 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 exchange guitars. So I take S Steve Vedi's guitar and he takes mine. Right. And we both play in front of an audience. Like, which one of the two performances would be better in your opinion? Just, you know, <laughs> imagine that, but just, just figure that out. Yeah, so that's the point. I mean, a, good, a, a very good player can make music with potatoes, literally. If you search on YouTube, you'll find a lot of, lots of uh, videos of songs recorded with, like, potato ocarinas and they're good, many of them while a terrible player can squeal with any instrument so seriously, no, you're not as good as your instrument quite the contrary, one could even say your instrument is as good as you are as a musician kind of, you know I totally wanted to say this because it's so annoying and it continuously pops up so now I would like to tell you a bit about my story in relation to the hurdy gurdy. Not like I started with music at the age of twelve or eleven, playing the drums. Then I went through the guitar and then through piano, and at some point, um, I remember it was, uh, it was probably the fifteenth of August of uh, a few years ago, and uh, I thought I want to play a. A medieval instrument, and and then uh, like my mind went very rapidly through all the medieval instruments I knew about, which were very few, <laughs> of course. Eventually, I thought, well, I know to play how to play keys like on the piano, and I can play the hurdy gurdy. Fine, let's go find one. And I had several months of dire frustrations because, as everyone else, I couldn't find anything which was affordable to me. I was unemployed at the time and uh, so after months and months of waiting and searching and looking and this and that and so forth I eventually came up with the fairy guide which was my first, my first buy, yes. I spent a lot of quality time with that instrument, it was fun. Then I uh, found a job and I spent my very first wages on a Rebel Hedigurdi and which is the one I the one instrument I play most often today and my rebel has kind of gotten me into the performance world. I first performed in front of uh, an audience 
uh, during a medieval festival. I think I have a photo of that somewhere, um, just for fun, seriously, on, on, on the border of the streets. And the people were amazed by that and we all had so much fun that something like one year later I started a band and uh, well that's history now I we are well, I'm kind of a professional player insofar as I get paid to play so uh, that's my current stance and uh, I'm not an expert I can't claim 20 years of experience with a hurdy gurdy I don't care to claim anything like that I I play a lot and I do that for a living. So even though I might not be as expert as other people around, and I still feel like I can do my uh, five cents and help the community with my videos and my advice. So that's everything for today. We're going towards a second video which will be more uh, in-depth and uh, more interesting and much longer, of course.